Hello good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here. Today I'm bringing you my first impressions video for the brand spanking new Tier 9 Premium Japanese Battle Cruiser, Super Cruiser, Mega Cruiser, whatever you want to call this, the Azuma. Now, this ship has gone through quite the change since it was announced. Um, so, yeah, and from what I've read, it's probably not as good as the... Well, the, oh lord, where they call it? The Anshan, the, um, oh god, whatever. The, um, tier 10, it was because it was supposed to be a tier 10 cruiser. And then it got knocked down to tier 9, a lot of stuff on it got nerfed. And now we have this Azuma rather than the Azuma that we were shown quite some time ago. So, let's go ahead, dive right into this thing, because it is a ship we have in front of us right now. Um, so, armaments, well, survivability. It's got 58,000 hit points, and its armor is, well, it's 25 millimeters everywhere. Everywhere, except for this one little uh, armor belt right there of 175. Take the outer armor away. That's the Citadel. That is not a small Citadel. That is a big old Citadel. Compare this to the Alaska, who is, where did I park you at, Alaska? Here we go. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Alaska Citadel is nice and under the waterline. And, I mean, Alaska is not that difficult to Citadel in a battleship, so can I, I can imagine how the Azuma is going to do Now let's take a look at the Kronstadt Citadel. Um, oh, I was about to say, why is it split in two? <laughs> but the crash at Citadel is, it's not completely under the waterline, but is much, much lower in the waterline than the Azuma. Yeah. The crash that is, you know, doesn't, it's not just straight 25 millimeters of armor. It's got a 230 millimeter belt, whereas Azuma does not. Let's take a look at Alaska's belt, which is... 229 millimeters and then 178 at the water so yeah a right squishy ship this is so her guns 310 millimeter guns they reload and well I do have a main battery main armaments mod 3 on so they reload in 17 seconds and oh wow my textures on Oh wow, I just realized the um, textures on the ship are quite blurry. They're normally not that blurry, especially on premium ships. ships. Let me check my settings real quick. Make sure they didn't get reset. Yeah, everything's on high. Wow. I wonder if that's a goof up on uh, what a, uh, on Wargaming's part. Because the... Uh, that, that's really pixely, unless it's supposed to look like that. Oh lord. I don't know. That's weird. Huh. Anyway, so 310 millimeter guns, they reload in 17.6 seconds. That is with main armaments mod 3. They rotate in 35.6 seconds with my build, which, you know, main armaments mod 3 does slow that down. But then MLG turrets does speed that back up. So the maximum dispersion is 183 meters. And the chance of HE shells on target is 29%. And I do have Demolition Expert on because what I, from what I've read, this thing, pretty much anything it's good at, is long-range HE spamming, and we are going to see if that is true. So the HE shell pins 51 millimeters of armor. If you're wondering what that is with the IFHE, that's 62 mill millimeters of armor. Don't know why you need that. Um, cause I mean, 51 millimeters of armor. It's pretty much the whole armor of everything except, you know, obviously not the belt armor, but the bow armor of everything. So you don't really need any more than that. And its maximum AP shell damage is 8,650, and its firing range is 19.1 kilometers. It is a really fast shell at 836 meters a second. And it has 16 uh, secondary guns second of these 100 millimeter guns, although their range is only 6.3 kilometers. And that's not with BFT or anything else added, so that, that's actually quite long for a cruiser's secondary guns. AA rating 64, that doesn't really mean much anymore. 
Maximum speed 34 knots, turning circle radius of 920 meters, and a rudder shift time was 13.9 seconds, and a concealment of 11.9 kilometers with the concealment module and the captain skill. So the current modules I have on her main armaments mod 1, damage con 1, aiming systems mod 1, propulsion mod 2, concealment, and main battery mod 3. As far as consumables go, you get damage con, of course. <laughs> uh, you can get defensive fire or hydro, spotter plane, no f option of a fighter plane, and repair. And repair. And they did increase her repair part. You did only get three, but now you get four, and with premium five. Um, so they did increase the amount of heals she can get since she is so squishy. How much that'll help when you're getting citadel constantly? I don't know. I suspect not a lot. All right, so that is a quick rundown of the Azuma, of the Azuma stats in port. So now we're going to go ahead and jump into battle and see how she does. Huh. There's only three Azumas in game. I remember when Alaska came out, it was everywhere. Oh, I forgot to mention, my captain skills are um, preventive maintenance, MLG turrets. Um, oh, Lord, it's after that. Because <laughs> I didn't go my normal route. Oh, demolition expert, concealment, priority target, um, adrenaline rush. And then, I believe I took AFT. I'll check when I get back into port. There's the Georgia, boys! I'm guessing the Super Test has got a hold of that. Yep. So, hmm. It is a tier 9. Oh, those shots landed mighty close to me. Ow. There we go. Oh boy. Is the range of the hydro five kilometers? All right. Oh, my God. Jesus. The ship is on fire. There that goes. 
Yeah, you know the game's pretty much lost when most of your team's back there hanging out with the uh, carrier. Anyway, Georgia. Hmm. This looks very interesting. So it definitely looks like uh, an elongated North Carolina class. Um, that front turret doesn't have any uh, little winglets on it. Turrets look like they move pretty fast too. See how it does against planes. Hasn't shot down anything yet. Oh, there we go. That was pretty cinematic. Oh, that... Wow, that was like... 20... Ish thousand damage. Yeah, it's really worrying when on the day the thing comes out. You know, it's not everywhere. Um, Alaska. There's some games where it was like freaking every cruiser on both teams were, uh, were Alaska. Not with the Azuma. Not with the Azuma. Oh, Vanguard. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Try out the AP on a broadside battleship. Well, it was a broadside. Oh, that's some nice grouping right there, though. It's kind of sad that I'm doing almost the same amount of damage, regardless if I'm using AP or HE, it seems. Hi, Neptune. <laughs> okay, that was satisfying. Oh, that was first blood? Jeez. Oh no. Where did all my health go? Where did all my health go? Honestly, that should citadel it. Or not. You see, I'm assuming that doing about 5,000 damage with HE, there's really no reason for me to even use AP on this thing. Unless, you know, broadside cruiser. But, like, with the, um. Oh, shit. Curve first. Let's see, I'll use AP in the next volley on the curve first right here. Attention. Now he's turning in, of course.
and look, now that I'm loading a p a uh, HE, he goes broadside. What? There we go, that's a bit better. If I'm blop this Harakazi. Come on, turret number three. I need you to do wonders, buddy. Oh my god. Okay, that was an okay run. That was an okay run. But it's just like the Citadel is so high on this thing. Ah. Alright, so let's talk about this thing. So after playing her for those three games again... My um, policy for first impressions video is the first three to four games. Uh, second impressions after I played it for a bit more. Third impressions after I played it for quite some time. So my first three games in her have been... Two of them were extremely underwhelming. Um, you know, I was trying to play her more to the front. Because sitting in the back, spamming HE, and kiting is not fun for me. It's not a fun playstyle. And it seems like this is exactly what the, the only thing the Azuma can really do. You cannot go to the front, you can't you can't tank a darn thing in the Azuma, except for destroyer, um H E spam. And I mean I get you know, it's you know, a cruiser battleship hybrid and it doesn't need to be immensely tanky, but come on, can can I tank some stuff? Um, and again, I'm not, I don't mean I want to sit up there and, you know, be a freaking riot shield. I mean, I want to be able to live long enough to where if I get in a situation that I need to, you know, get in something's face, I can survive long enough to do something if I play my cards right. You can do that in the cross chain, you can do that in the Alaska. You cannot do that in this thing. Um, and it's so weird because these secondaries for this battle cruiser type, um, sh type of ships that we've been getting these are these secondaries are actually pretty good and i was just reading online real quick while i was waiting for the last uh, match to end apparently secondaries have improved penetration so it's and plus the the the, the range with um i need to redo this captain because this is not working at all this this it barely sets fires i thought it was gonna be able to sell i thought it was gonna be able to set a, quite a few fires um but with this captain with aft these secondaries, they can get up to 6.3 kilometers. Um, so if I were to take the um, secondary module, that would boost them out even, uh, even more. Which, it's like, why in the world does this thing have secondaries like that? Um... <laughs> What we're gaming? 
I mean, I could see this working if they did one thing. Which would be to quite simply lower this. I mean, <laughs> you give it armor that pretty much most ships that it can that that it, that it meets up with can just either pin it or it'll eat their HE no problem. And then you give it a citadel this high. Why? I mean, like we said, if if this thing is supposed to compete with the Kronstadt and the Alaska, but then you give it a citadel that's immensely higher. I mean, look look where it comes up to. It's just so much higher than all the other super cruisers, and it that kills it right there for me. That that, that really does. I mean, if maybe the AP was a bit better and they made this thing just like a serious long-range sniper, um, maybe that 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 would do it. But the AP is not fantastic. I've been getting better pins with the HE because the AP is just bouncing off of stuff left, right, and center. You have to be almost perfectly flat on to whatever you're shooting at for the AP to work, and then it is quite good. I mean, you guys saw I deleted that Neptune pretty hard, but for the money, for the grind, this thing is not worth it. And I know I usually wait to say that for the um, second impressions or final impressions video, but the the vibe I'm getting from this thing is this is not worth it. I paid 80 bucks for this because it was cheaper for me to do that rather than convert the XP. And I, I do not feel like I've gotten $80 worth of ship. I feel like I've gotten... I don't know. <laughs> So, something but it's not worth 80 bucks and you can tell that uh, the more paint that because these secondaries, these secondaries are obviously meant to be used and I'm sure on the tier 10 version of the ship I, I the name of it escapes me currently you know these secondaries in the torpedo tubes they are certainly going to be useful um but I feel like, you know, they just forgot to change these secondaries back to whatever they should be for this ship. Because these things, these are some pretty nice secondaries for for this super cruiser type of ship. But you barely ever get to use them. Maybe if a destroyer sneaks up on you and slips up and gets detected, you'll use them. But, and if you're playing the Azuma like it's best, you're, you're never going to use those secondaries. And that's quite annoying. So that's my first impressions of the ship. So far, feels like it is not worth it. Um, it's not fun to play. There's no derpiness or um, just fun factor here for me because I tried to play this more aggressive than it should be, and my God, do you get punched in the face if you try to do that? It just, it is not. It it it's only a good long range HE spamming ship for now. It's not even that good spamming because it's got a longer reload than the Alaska and Kronstadt. I mean, it's, it's only a second longer, but at the end of the day, that, that is a longer reload. And, yeah, this is not doing it for me. So, first impressions, like I said, not worth it. Now, we'll see if maybe if they change it in a bit or, you know, maybe if, I, I mean, you know, I don't. I doubt I'm, my opinion is going to change between um, this first impressions video and the second impressions video because... This feel like this is a ship meant for run one roll, and if you step outside of that roll, it just falls apart. And yep, that's it. That's what that's the vibe we getting from it right now, guys. So if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We are on our way to 2,000 subscribers. We are very very close to that goal. We are under 150 away from that. So hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 2,000. And again, we've had just an amazing period of growth here on the channel, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. So, again, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope you're all having a wonderful Tuesday. I'll catch you guys in the next one.